In this presentation, I will teach you how to draw the state diagram of a counter. For this purpose, I will take a 2 bit up counter. I will take a 2 bit up counter and uh, let's see what we have in this 2-bit up counter this 2-bit is nothing but the output of the flip-flop and as it is 2-bit I have to use two flip-flops whether it to be a JK flip-flop or a T flip-flop and if I say the output of my first flip-flop let's say it is A then the output of A flip-flop is QA in the same way the output of B flip-flop is QB so this QA and QB is making my 2-bits okay and uh, this is what we have already seen in the previous lectures now as it is up counter it will start counting from 0 0 and end counting at the maximum count now what is the maximum count for a 2 bit up counter we can easily find out by a formula that I have already explained you in the uh, last presentations so let me find out the maximum count for this 2 bit up counter and it is equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 now this n is nothing but the number of bit uh, or you can say it is the number of flip flops being used so the maximum count for my 2 bit up counter is 2 to the power 2 minus 1 2 to the power 2 is definitely 4 and then minus 1 finally we have 3 so 3 is the maximum count for a 2 bit up counter and the binary equivalent for 3 is definitely 1 1 so my counter will count from 0 0 to 0 1 then 1 0 and finally 1 1 and if it is a down counter it will count from 1 1 and end counting at 0 0 if it is a down counter and as it is a up counter it will count from 0 0 and end at 1 1 so I think it is clear to you now we will move to the state diagram so what are the states we have to first find out the states are nothing but the counts of my counter and the counts are 0 0 which is equivalent of 0 in decimal 0 1 equivalent of 1 1 0 equivalent of 2 and then 1 1 equivalent of 3 so these are my states and also if you remember I told you if you want to find out the states of a counter for example if you want to find out the states of a 5 bit counter then you have to do nothing but use this formula 2 to the power n gives me states of a counter just replace this n by 5 and you will have the states of a 5 bit counter in the same way if uh, I want a 2 bit up counter I have to replace this n by 2 so 2 to the power 2 gives me 4 and also you can see we have 4 states so let's make these states first then we will see how the transition is taking place this is for first state second state third state and fourth state the first state is 0 0 this 0 is QA this 0 is QB the outputs of my flip-flops then I have 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and if I'm on 0 0 for the next clock pulse I will be on 0 1 so I have to show it by the arrow like this similarly if I'm on 0 1 I'm going on 1 0 because the counter is simply giving these values with every passing clock pulse depends upon the triggering and uh, whatever be the mode of triggering after every triggering you will be moving to the next state and if you are on 0 1 the next state is 1 0 so you will go to 1 0 similarly if you are on 1 0 the next state is 1 1 and once you are on the maximum count the counter again gives the initial value that is 0 0 so you will go to 0 0 now what if I talk about the down counter the states will remain the same because in case of down counter the states are not changing only the transition is changing so you will start from 1 1 go to 1 0 then 0 1 and 0 0 and finally again at 1 1 this is for down counter and this one is for up counter so this is how you have to make the state diagram of a counter and if I ask you to make the state diagram of a 3 bit up counter 
then again you have to find out the number of states the maximum count and uh, then you have to do the same process so let's do it quickly if I have a 3 bit up counter it means n is equal to 3 the number of bit is equal to 3 and 2 to the power 3 minus 1 this is my maximum count it gives me 8 minus 1 that is 7 and the binary equivalent of 7 is triple 1 and the number of states the number of states is equal to this is n is equal to 2 to the power 3 that is 8 so we have in total 8 states and we will make this 8 states quickly this is 0 0 0 the first state then I have 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 then I have 1 1 0 and finally I have 1 1 1 so these are my 8 states and uh, as it is uh, up counter definitely we will start from 0 and we will go to 0 0 1 and in the same way you can complete your state diagram by showing the transitions the state diagram of counter is uh, not a very tough thing to do but uh, definitely you have to remember these things so that you may not do any mistakes in in your exams because the state diagrams are uh, very oftenly used if you talk about the competitive exams that's why I have devoted a complete presentation on it so that you have a better understanding of the state diagrams in case of counters so this is all for this presentation and if I want a down counter if this up is replaced by down then you have to just change the arrow you have to start from a 1 1 1 then go to 1 1 0 and all the way back to 1 1 1 so this is what we have to do in case of down counters this is all for this presentation I will end it here